Hi guys, welcome to Comfort Souls Paranormal. Tonight we've travelled to Harrogate, um, to a place called Spoffeth. Um, now this is an old castle ruins. Um, it is quite good to be honest. Uh, yeah, I'll make it. Well, yeah. Um, tonight we have joined up with Team Equinox Paranormal. Um, they've started doing their own thing in a different part of the castle. So we're going to start off in here. Um, and we're going to move to numerous different locations throughout the castle and see what we get. Um, you think we should just start calling out with our equipment first? Or? Uh, yeah, we can do, yeah. Good shout. Yeah. So uh, we'll start from this room now. Um, I don't want to use any equipment or anything. We're just going to call out the normal. Right, if there's any spirits in there with us right now, can you give us some sort of sign? Maybe knock. You're a knock. Yeah. Well, it's, uh, that'll come in from that room next door, won't it? Yeah. yeah. That'll play. Yeah. So you said it. So if you can see behind so it, they're over there, so it won't come in from them, will it? Yeah. 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 Right. So if that was you. Thank you for that. Can you maybe show yourself from the camera as a ball of light? Could you interact with one of those? Maybe touch one of those? Oh, prod. Could you whisper it to one of our ears? Right guys, what we're gonna do is move further on into the castle. We're gonna go through uh, to the next room. Uh, this is where Julie from Team Equinox took a photo before and it showed up as what I believe it looks like a goat on the photo. Um, but she's had a look at it and she thinks it's something reptilian based. So it's uh, each, and, each to their own opinions. So let's see what we can get, see if we can get anything like that. Right, right guys, we've come to the side of the castle. Um, here you can see a wall which goes up here. Um, obviously the floor to the castle is actually gone now. Um, but th this actual place, um, it's been said that an apparition has been seen of a woman jumping from the top to her death. So this could possibly be a place where somebody committed suicide. Um, so hopefully we might be able to get something like that on camera today because it has been seen by other paranormal groups and uh, there's um, a story being written about this. It would be interesting if we got something along those lines from this place. Um, what we're going to do now guys, there's a derelict tunnel over there. So we're going to head over towards the tunnel, um, we're going to set up the camera and we're going to do a bit of gun pod activity, calling out we we'll to check the K2 meter and things, see if we can get any um, sort of sign that there's something there. Um, it is a known hotspot to be, um, to be very active, so hopefully we should go to plan and we'll get some good stuff. So we found an underground tunnel guys, um, we've decided to get down and we're going to see if we can get anything because it goes on really far this. Are we walking down it for a bit? Let's go halfway down and then we'll... Uh, yeah you can do. So we'll go halfway down, do a bit of calling out, see if we can find out something, what's going off in this tunnel, um, and then we'll do a bit of spirit box and see if we can get anything on that. So guys, um, we're in what is believed to be a getaway tunnel, or something along those lines. Um, now there's a, another tunnel directly at the side of this, um, but it's inaccessible because it's full of water. Uh, so we've come in this dry one, um, we've gone really far, um, the other two guys have gone all the way to the end. Now um, we're going to do a bit of calling out in a moment, see if we can get any sort of response. Stir something up maybe. Um, obviously that's what we do, we are the conjured souls, we conjure souls, so yeah. 
try a bit of REM pod now. Um, I have this one here, this REM pod. This was built by Andy Bailey of Infrared. So I'm going to put it on now, see if we can get any sort of response from it. So it's just going to calibrate. Yeah, put that down there somewhere. So Mark's just going to place the REM pod down now where we can see it. It will stop alarming once it is down. Stop now, isn't it? Right. We are grounded. So we're all at it now. Spirits of Sproffer Castle. If there's anyone there and you're able to hear us right now, could you give us some sort of sign? You maybe show yourself on the camera as a ball of light or an apparition. Could you go towards the device that I've just placed on the floor and make it alarm? All you have to do is physically touch it and that will alarm and illuminate. This will alert us of your presence and then we will know that you are here and you are able to see us and that you are intelligent. Come in now, come into the tunnel. We mean you no harm whatsoever. Come with the greatest of respect for you. Did he make a noise? Did it tap on one of the walls? Interact one of us. Maybe whispering set camera device. Maybe touch one of us. Maybe you can use some of our energy. So guys, K2 meter, I've just turned it on. Currently it's on zero, zero, zero. And it is 14.7 Celsius. If anything electromagnetic comes into contact with this device, it will alarm and illuminate, just as the REM pod does. So this will also alert us of some sort of energy around us. Could you come into contact with the device that Jason has held in his hand, please? Please come forward, interact with the device. But as you touching me on the left hand side of me right now, someone touching my arm, swear to God. Could you make some sort of noise? Just alert us here to your presence. Affect this device in my hand, make it light up red. All you have to do is go near it. Maybe if I put it down on the floor, away from me, could you affect it? Could you physically knock it over? There is anyone here with us? Would this be in a place that you maybe have died, passed away? If you're here right now, could you affect the device on the floor what is behind Mark? All you have to do is come into contact with it, or could you maybe knock it over? What do you say? The right side feels very cold. The right side in the first one, that. Is there somebody there interacting with Matthew? Could you do the same to me, please? Coming up, 
Can you please set off one of the devices that has been placed on the floor? Either one of those. All you have to do is go near it and touch it. It will then alarm and illuminate and alert us that you are there with us right now. Follow my lead. So just literally walk over. And place some part, part of your physical being around that device. Did you maybe knock on the wall? Just like I am now. Come on, give us some sort of sign. Alert us to your present, we mean you no harm whatsoever. Maybe you're not what we thought you were. Should we try one of apps on tablet? <clears throat> yeah. Spirit box. Right guys, uh, we are deep into the tunnel right now. And all the three of us have heard what sounds like a moan. That's the only way to describe it. It's like, hmm. That's the only way, only sound I can basically put it to. I don't know what it is, but it keeps happening. Just a bit further down the tunnel. So, just to make viewers aware as well, there currently is no wind outside. It's pretty dead. The weather's pretty calm and placid. So, it can't be any wind or anything catching anything. It's definitely something well, that we climbed down, didn't we, to get into the tunnel? Yeah. Well, I think we should do now is just be really quiet and see if we can pick out up any sort of EVP recordings or anything. Could you maybe make that noise again louder? You're wanting us to go further down. Is that where you are? Can you not move from that location? It's getting colder. It is. But we're not in the entrance, it should be getting cold. Real cold here. But we'll stay at the end. Guys, so I've had a little walk up to the entrance of the tunnel where we come in. Uh, so there for a second just to try out the new ghost pro you might not be able to see you right, so I think moving forward what we're going to do now we're going to we're going to try an application called the witch it's been uh, it's been used before by other investigators Charlene Lowe Kemp's used it and had some really good responses off for it so what we're going to do now we're going to turn it on now, the application is created by Brian Holloway and what it is it's a reverse banks their uh, audio okay so anything that comes out that's naturally you know like a word that we can make sense of it's um it's been manipulated by something around us okay If there's any spirits with us right now, could you please use this device as a voice and tell us who you are and what you are doing here? Yeah. Could you maybe tell us your name? Yeah. Like it said something different, didn't it? It said something like Christian. Could you please repeat the name that you've just spoken? If you said Christian, could you please repeat that? Yeah. 
Could we please speak to one of the spirits that is lurking in this tunnel? Could you say one of our names? Could you use the application device to say one of our names? So I'm Matthew, uh, I'm Mark, sorry, Matthew, Jason. So just to repeat that, could you say one of our names, either Mark, Matthew or Jason? This will show us that you can understand what we're saying to you. So that were you when you said Mark, thank you, we appreciate that. That's some form of validation that you are here. Uh, could you please say what it says on one of our tops? Could you tell us what you're doing here? Can you tell us what it says on our top? The writing that I'm pointing to now, maybe one of the words. It also says it on mine. On mine too. Could you tell us what it says on my jumper, please? That will give us more than enough evidence to show that you are real. So moving forward, can we uh, can we get a name of the place where we stood in now? Can you tell us what area this is? Stone, stone. It is actually made of stone, but could you tell us what this place is and what is what it was used for maybe? Mark. Could you tell us how many people are stood here living in this tunnel right now? Three. 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 Could you please repeat the answer that you've just given us to Matthew's question? How many people are here in this tunnel now that are living? I think we should maybe try and see if we can get any different sort of responses. Because I know that certain spirit box apps work better in different locations. So this might work better than another app in a different location, if you know what I'm saying. Um, yeah, I don't know why it is, it just seems to be atmosphere and place around you connects more with different apps.
So what's this you're going to be using now, Mark? So this is a, I don't know who it's created by, it were a free application, it's called Spain Paranormal ITC Box. And it's basically switching it on, turning it trigger up and echo, and uh, like I say, it's the first time I've used it. It was uh, recommended by a friend of ours, uh, Carl Thompson. Uh, so yes, yeah, it's the first time I'm going to be using it, so we'll get a whirl. Hello, is there any spirits with us right now that wishes to communicate with us? Is anyone there? Is there anyone here that would like to communicate with a member of the team? We can use the actual spirit box if you want. It's just a signal down there, isn't it? What's your effect on that device? Can you stop it now, please? Can you set off the other REM pod in the middle there? It's the exact same. Again, please. Please come into contact with one of the other devices that's situated around us, please. Any spirits with us now, can you come forward please and set some of the devices off? So it's the K2 car. In my hand. Okay, yeah. Pop the top map to bump that table. 
Little boy, if you're still with us, can you set any of these lights up like you did earlier on? Hi, Catherine. Margaret, are you still with us? We're at Spofford Castle in North Yorkshire, Bath. It has gone really quiet now, hasn't it? It has. Mm. You know, I, I feel that, uh, what do call it? Not darkness, but uneasiness yeah. coming in. Uh, it's getting at that time at night, though, that it does. It does that, and it, it starts kicking up again, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. Any spirits that are still with us, can you set the devices off that we've got to place around the area? See if you can set them off, please. Can I ask the guard that guards this castle, are you with us? I don't think he's written them off, you know. Could have done. Mm. Well, it, it, it's a bad entity, isn't it? Yeah. The guard that roams around this castle, can you come forward and let us know that you're here? Come on, we've all felt your presence earlier on. Is any other spirits of the castle still with us tonight? Can you come forward and set any of these machines off that have got the lights on, please? Is either of the Williams with us tonight? Can you come forward? Come on, let us know that you're here. If that spirit, can you stop the lights? Can you stop them now, please? If that's you, William, can you stop it going off? So we can ask another question for you. Was that an answer? To my question, when I asked, would you like us to go, can you set them off again, please? We did have, what are you telling me to do, that storm being told? Oh, yeah, um, before we forget, uh, well, um, Everybody was elsewhere. Uh, there were me and Steve sat sat on the wall there, and something was thrown. It sounded like something hitting one of the metal cases that we have, and there was nothing lying around that could have made that noise. Uh, yeah. If there's any spirits with us, can you move this? Pointed needle to the Y to yes. See, this is what I'm waiting for. You know, you can have all the fingers on and all that. Yeah. To me, that I want to see that move on its own, whether it be that or a glass. Mm. Yeah. You know, for definitive proof. That it is spirit that's moving it. No fingers or no whatever. Yeah. Come on, can you move this needle that's on this table? 
you can move it any direction don't be shy Come on, come forward. Come on, you've got plenty of equipment to move, to set off, to let us know that you're here. Come on, Spirit, don't be shy. Let's have you come forward. We're here out of respect. We're not here to harm you. Come on, you were here earlier tonight. Just let us know that you're still here with us. Well, guys, looks like there's no happening at the moment. Is there any spirits with us now? Can you move that no, point of device on the table, please? We'd like to use some of our energy to do that. Move the device slightly. Got an idea about sound I've got. Just give it a try. Right. Spirit, if you're with us, I'm going to knock on the table. Can you do the same or give us two knocks anywhere? Like this. Do I have a trap? Come on, give us a sign if you're still here, spirit. We're going so. No, don't want like very not very. No. We've not <coughs> even set it devices off, have we? No. You see? We had most of it earlier on, didn't we? Yeah. What we did have. You know what we did have. Uh, I'm going to say Caroline, I'm going to say Caroline. I'm a line that's been up a few times. Yeah. <coughs> Jeanette. 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 Yeah. Something like Jeanette. It did that, I, I had that. Thank you for that. Hi Jane. Come and stand right in the middle where we are. Just stand here, you know, in, just, just get your semi here. It's not a problem to you. Come on. Come forward. I don't think you can do it. In fact, I know you can't do it. 
If you're here now, set that doll off. You've been doing it all night. Do it again. Set it off now. If you're here. If you're here with us now, somebody's invited you. Who's invited you here? Speak their name. It don't have to be in reverse. You can speak it normal. Manipulate that machine so it's normal. Tell us clearly who's, who's fetched you here. Who's let you be here? What's this? What's this? You know what it is, do you? If you say no, you are. Oh, you're saying you are. You know what this is. Where are you? Show me where you are. Show me where you are and I'll set this away. I heard that. Show me where you are and I'll take this away. Get out. Tell me where you are and I'll take it away. If not, I'll plant them in all walls of this place so you can't come back. That shut you up, didn't it? Come on. You can speak a lot clearer than that. Come forward, show yourself. Show me who you are. If you show me who you are, I'll put this away. You haven't got it, you haven't got you haven't got enough to come, have you? What is this? What is this? What is it? Did that say the demons trying or something? Demons trying. <laughs> There's no way to be with anybody. The minute we all leave this place, you'll stay here. You don't follow anybody. You haven't the right to follow anybody. If you follow anybody, I'll come with these and I'll put them everywhere you are. Everywhere you are. I'll never leave you alone. One last chance, I want you to appear. Come forward.
Plum is in it. So plum. Is it anybody here frightened here? They're not going to do what you want them to do. We're not going to leave because you say we've got to leave. It's not going to happen. Behind you. Right then, if you're behind Appear. us, where behind us are you? Appear. Come on. Show yourself. Appear and show yourself in this room now. Come on, you can do it. Come on. Let's see you. Let's see you. Come on. Where are you? You know. Come on, then. Quiet, Show yourself, full body. Where are you? Come on. Tell him it's to leave. Tell him it's to leave. We're not going. Show yourself, where are you? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You come forward, give us a name. Mm. Yeah. Keep saying I'm cheating. Yeah. Keep saying I'm cheating. No one discuss you got that medal out. Yeah. Come on. Come forward. If you're here, come towards all this equipment now. Set it off. Come on. No good whispering and threatening, that's no good, we don't want that. We want to see you, we want to see stuff. Throw something like we did earlier. Yeah. Come into this room and throw something. Reason I'm being a bit angry in my voice is because we've got something quite bad with us. Yeah, if it's a normal spirit then it's kind and it's respectful. The minute you, you feel that you've got something dark, your tone has to change because you're in command. You have to tell that, that that's got to get away from you, no matter what you do. If you don't do it, it'll have you. That's how simple it is. You can see it right now. You can see it right now. This is in my hand. Yeah. That's in my hand. I'd try and separate that whispering heart if you can. Yeah. When you do it, I think that's where you alkalize and that, that whispering. Yeah. 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 We pick up the English and all day. I like to listen to it. Don't I? You tell me what this is in my hand. No. No. So now you have to look at is it pretending to be negative or is it pretending not to be? It's <laughs> <laughs> like pretending not to know. <laughs> If you're all this high and mighty and this all oh, telling people that you've got to leave and they've got to go and there's demons in gateways and all this kind of stuff. If you're all that, appear. Just show yourself. Light, the, light all this up. Make it all flat. Show easy. them windows again up there like you did once. Very easy show them all your stained glass and your frames. Do it again. You can't, can you? Yeah. Can I you for a minute, Can you tell me what I've got in my hand here, please? What's this? Have you got an EVP? 
Stay your room next time, Dad. Yeah. You should have. I've got everything to do with Father. It's her. It's even here. I need to see her. Look at this, Jesus on the cross. Yeah. Do you like this? Do you like it? That's just yeoman, the yeoman spirit, so. So is what you can do. Human spirit, Steve. Yeah. Human spirit. So we know that you're limited in what you can do. So you're not who you say you are. So the team that were here earlier mentioned a young boy that walks this ground. Could you please make yourself known and affect the device on the third pillar that comes out of the floor? Yeah. Yeah. Right guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to check to away the grid. Um, I'm going to put this towards the wall. I'm just going to step in front of it so if anything does decide to walk in front of it, what is not human, will uh, be able to pick that up because the laser light will disappear. So I'll set this up now, and basically. Right. Right. If there's any spirit here with us right now, could you either walk in front of this stone here? Could you go up to this device? Just like that. Could you walk to that device there and affect it? And it will light and illuminate. Okay. This is the wire engine set off. Minute. One of these devices just to watch this thing out of right now. Come on, we know you're able to do it. Use some of our energy. Make your presence known to us. We know that we're able to set that device off. Because you've set it off once already over there. Can you do the exact same and do it again, please? We'd really appreciate it if you can give us some sort of sign that is going to notify us that you are there. Could you speak into the camera? Whisper in one of our ears, speak so we can hear you. 
Did you whistle or bang or knock? We are aware that there is a guard that roams the ground. If you do roam the ground and you're trying to protect the, the current status of the building, could you please wonder by the lights on the wall? You will appear as an apparition. From the session we conducted earlier on the spirit box, we heard the name Jeanette. Is there a Jeanette present? If so, could you come forward and touch one of us? Did you touch me? Could you grab my arm? Could you appear as a ball of light in my hand? Come on, please. Please come forward. We are open to this. Use some of our energy. Could you go near that device there with the green light and make it change red? would really appreciate anything that you could do for us that would alert us that you are there and you can hear us I don't believe that you're able to do this come on prove me wrong Prove to me that there is life after death and there's no reason to be scared of dying. Come on spirits, come forward. We've been here a long time now. We've had very little evidence that someone is there or that there is anything there. Did you die here when the building was damaged through fire? Maybe you're burnt? You may we touch one of us and indicate whereabouts you were injured or how you died. Give us some sort of sign. Come on. Please come forward. We know that you wanted us to leave. You've mentioned that. And we've already said that we will not be leaving until we find some evidence that there is spiritual energy in this place. Come on. We are conjured souls. Use our energy. Let us conjure you up. Come on. Come back to this place where you once was. Show yourself. Appear on the camera. Show us an apparition or a ball of light or anything. So guys, we're gonna we move forward from this room now. We're gonna move into the one of the rooms that's situated at the side of this place. Um, hopefully, we can get some some good responses from there. This area has gone quite a little bit, so we'll uh, we'll move forward. Okay, guys.
Hi guys, um, we've entered another part of the castle. Um, this part, uh, Matthew has had uh, is it a ghost detector camera, which yeah. is motion sensitive. So if there's any spirit or apparition that walks past, it will pick that up on camera and it will start recording. So that has been set up. That has been set up in here whilst uh, we've been in a different room. So now we've entered this room. Um, we're going to do a quick spirit box. Um, Dave Miller's ITC Legion's uh, areas box. We have really good results from this. It's basically um, it's basically a spirit box app that is in Latin and it is chopped into milliseconds and reversed. So any English phrases, words, anything what comes through it is not possible. So it is actual manipulation by something what is changing the words so we can understand them. So hopefully we're going to get some good responses from this and see what happens. Uh, Mark is also using an app called Paratech which is basically an iobulus which will use the atmosphere to produce words from a word bank. Um, once these words come through it should have some um, like tie to the place that you are so then we can see that it's working correctly. Yeah. If, it, if it comes up and it doesn't mean anything to us then obviously that's no proof but if it's coming up and it's saying castle blah 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 you know what I mean. Alright so I'm going to start it now. No problem. Hello there, spirits of Spotless Castle. If you are there and you can see us or hear us, we would like you to use this box to bring you here with us right now. We will not leave. We want you to speak to us to prove that you are real and that you are able to hear us or see us. If you want us to want us to leave, that is what you want. Can you tell us on either one of our jumpers that is stood here right now? Come on, say what it says on either one of our jumpers right now. That will be enough validation for me to know that you can't see it. Come on. We know you're not a demon. We know you're just pretending to be an evil entity. If you really was, then you'd be able to show yourself and do something. You'd be more hopeful than this. Could you tell me what this is I have here? Come on, come forward. Tell me what we did. Tell me who is on the who is on this. What is this? What does it indicate? What does it represent? What is in Mark's hand? If you need the light, you need to lead you into the light, give us some sort of evidence that you are there.
You don't know me. If you know me, can you please tell me what my name is? What is my name? What is his name? What is his name? So if you can say Mark, can you say Jason? Jason.
So we've got orbs, there's been quite a lot. We've had some rempod activity, care fuel meters gone up and down. We had some valid responses from the spirit boxes. Um, the best part for me was when we were down in the underground tunnel. It did really feel eerie and like there was something happening down there. Um, tonight we did join up with Team Equinox Paranormal. Um, they had quite a lot of interesting responses as well. We did split up as two teams and then we came together and uh, recorded as one big team. Um, we did the spirit box together and everything and then um, Julie and Steve did some closing prayers and cleansed the area and made sure there was no spirits to follow them back. So hopefully um, we'll have some good footage for you tonight. And that is all from me. Do you have, do you have anything to say, Mark? Uh, no, I really enjoyed tonight. Really enjoyed sharing that experience with Team Equinox. Um, really lovely people. Hopefully we'll be planning on meeting up with them in some time in the near future and conducting more investigations. Yeah, they've shared a lot of wisdom um, that they've gained over the years and that's so I'm really, really, really happy tonight. Do you have uh, anything you want to add, Matthew? No, not really. We both said it all, to be fair. Okay, no problem. Right, guys, thanks for watching then. And please like, subscribe and share. Like our YouTube channels. Subscribe to all our social media. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And also like us and follow our YouTube channel. And stay tuned and see you on the other side. Peace.